ago. How that happened, what led to having that to happen, learn from it, then go in a different direction. Trust in God because you will find rest when you pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And second, your courage. We're so oblivious to the fact what our women are going through. Amen. And the second thing is, but some are going together. Like what I mentioned yesterday, for the women, sometimes we blame ourselves. I blame myself um, for our relationship with Kasalevu or at home. I blame myself. But I believe on all the time, uh, since we came in or when we met, I'm always doing everything. He doesn't do anything. But now, when it's so busy and I'm expecting him to do something, I don't get so frustrated. But I need him to be like that. Some of them are not going to do that, you do that, you do that. I don't want to be like that, mom. You do that, you do that, you do that. Hallelujah. And some of us, we were sitting here, we brought that upon ourselves. Amen. But for men, don't take advantage of it. That moment was you alone. Now you have one, two, three, four, five heads, or one, two heads. To feed, to look after, and still go to work. So you need to step up and step in and help. If you don't know when men come in and do your role and help to share the burden, oh, you never know how much you touch your wife's heart. Amen. It's not how you look because you don't look good. Amen. It's never the looks. Praise the Lord. For women, I would say. Majority of women, they don't look at the looks. Maybe some women do, but I don't. For me, I'm attracted with men of responsibility and accountability. Amen. Not the looks. Praise the Lord. So you don't realize when you do that, you never know how much you, you know, your, your wife just love you more. It's what to hide you. But when you don't do anything, it's like this what to kick you. Four children, four, seven grandchildren, my TV, mini 